Hi guys, how you doing? Hope you're well. So just a quick one today. I just thought I'd share because I just learned this, which I thought was pretty cool. So I figured, you know, what, we'll do a quick video on it. I've just learned how to use a Zener diode and combine that with a voltage regulator to add the voltages together to get a higher output. So here I've got a 12 volt fan plus a five volt voltage regulator. It's the um, L7805. So I've got the L7805 plus a seven volt Zener diode. So what we're doing is we're actually gonna add these two voltages together. Seven volts plus five volts equals 12 volts. And we should be able to power this fan with a lovely 12 volts. So let's show you how it works. All right, so I've got my voltage regulator here powered at the positive rail and then coming up to the voltage in pin. And then the middle pin is the ground pin. So between the ground pin and the actual ground, I've put a Zener diode, 7.5 volts. And then at my output pin, I've got my output going out towards my fan. So let's turn it on. If I crank it up. So that's like 15 volts. Okay, now let's check the voltage at the output. So 12 volts, nice. So from 15 volts, we've got 12 volts. If I crank it up even more, up to 18 volts, I still get my 12 volts. Now, like I said, this is a five volt voltage regulator. I showed you the L7805, which is five volts. We can do this with a different voltage regulator and also a different Zener diode. So I, this one is currently a 7.5 volt Zener diode. If I take this out and replace it with a 4.3 volt Zener diode, then I'm going to get what voltage? Five volts plus 4.3 is nine volts. So if I crank it up now, I'll go up to my normal 50, go up to like yeah, 18 volts. That's fine. And then check the voltage. 9 volts beautiful right so i thought that was pretty cool i figured i'd show you okay so i wanted to leave it there and then i thought to myself do you know what i know people prefer short videos i do but i just feel like i, I haven't done it justice yet so forgive me i'm gonna go into a bit more detail so there are some things you can do to optimize this let's just turn this back on again i'm just going to show you quickly let's go to 15 volts again or whatever just above 15 that's fine we'll check the voltage real quick so our voltage is 9.1 volts, right? Okay, so what what should our voltage be if you think about it? We've got 5 volts and then we've got 4.3. So our voltage should be 9.3, right? So what you can do is you can actually op optimize this by sticking in a resistor. And the resistor just goes between the output pin, the third pin there, and then the pin in the middle of the ground pin. So put the resistor between there. I've got just a 1K one. Doesn't matter if it's a bit more or a bit less. All right, turn the hose back on again. Let it ramp up. Okay, let's have a look at the voltage now. 9.3. 9.3 so it it makes it a bit more optimized by using the resistor that's because basically the zener diode there it needs a certain amount of current to work properly and so it's i think it's like five milliamps so sticking in the resistor will draw some current from the output back through the zener diode and then that will just allow uh, your zener diode to work perfectly and then you get that bit higher voltage 9.3 and actually you'll get more current as well last thing i'm going to cover is let's just jump into the circuit which i've got here on my iPad, we don't have long. We've got 10% before my battery dies, or 9% now, let's do it. Okay, so here's the circuit and what it would look like when we don't have the Zener diode in there. So we've just got our ground going straight through to ground. We've got our 15 volts at VCC coming into our voltage regulator, the 7805. And then output, we get five volts, as you can see there, let me show you, five volts, okay? So once we add the Zener diode, whatever the, the value of the Zener diode is, in our case, 4 volts or 4.3 volts, you add 4 volts there. So now you've got 15 volts coming in. The VCC is irrelevant as long as it's higher than your expected output voltage. So our output voltage is expected 9, 9.3 volts. So here, 5 volts plus the 4 volts, that gives us the 9 volts at the output there. Pretty neat, right? So that resistor that I added there for optimization Again, I wouldn't worry too much about it, but that just goes here like this, R1. 
and in, in that instance there what I put was a 1k one but I tested it with 220 and 2k and it worked fine so yeah other than that I don't think there's anything more to it this is obviously ideal if you don't have a 9 volt voltage regulator or something like that right so if I've got you know um, for example I've got quite a lot of xenodiodes that are like you know 1.2 volts and different different voltages so I can get an actual very custom voltage by using this method so yeah I just thought it was very cool um, I noticed I saw a solar charge schematic uh, with a xenodiode like this and it confused me and so then I went on electronics-tutorials.ws uh, and then saw the explanation for this and I was like oh sick so I thought I'd do a video on it but yeah that's it nice and short I mean kind of short like what seven minutes apologies guys all right take care bye bye see you next one uh, next one I should be doing the um I'm just working on this one now the LM317T probably shouldn't show you in case because if I don't figure it out I'll just scrap it and pretend that I never I never I never even looked at it in the first place <laughs> all right take care guys bye bye all right sorry I'm back I realized I actually didn't explain the whole reason why this works and I mean although not too important it just it's nice to know right so if you don't care about how this works jump to the next video man uh, but all right so how this works is think about the fact that this is ground right so this this is our ground obviously evident by here going to ground so we're expecting ground to be zero volts now what we're doing is when in this point here when ground is zero volts the voltage regulator is just saying okay my voltage here is going to be five volts above this what this point here so we're expecting this to be zero volts obviously the voltage regulator doesn't care what voltage this is it's just saying like, look okay I, you want me to make my voltage point here let's do a different color you want over here to be five volts above this point here all right and so the it's just taking okay what's this voltage here it's zero volts and then we're going all right fine so then over here will be five volts cool now in this instance here the voltage regulator is looking at this and saying okay i want here to be plus five volts above this point here okay so now where i've got my xenodiode here the voltage here is actually four volts now right at this point here you know i hate though in uni when the lecturer says here especially if it's an online lecture they say here 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 but you can't see where they're pointing very frustrating anyways so the voltage at this point here is four volts now and so the zen the voltage regulator is going to look at this and say okay so we're going to go five plus five volts above this point and so then that's how over here you get nine volts and that's how it works basically nothing too fancy right so you can just for example pile up some more xenodiodes as well create all sorts of custom voltages and i suppose that's kind of what building a circuit means right because if you're not creating all this custom different stuff and you don't understand how all of this stuff works then you're just probably just copying circuits right so i suppose this is where the building comes into it uh i love it i i find this fascinating how you know how intelligent people are that somebody somewhere was like oh i can chuck a xenodide in there and then you know so yeah anyways cool i right, guess sorry for rambling i apologize i'll see you next one take care bye, -bye.